p.m. Why am I recording the video? Why am I recording the video? Let me wake up. <clears throat> yes, the second of February, twenty twenty-one. I was even thinking of making a video. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just felt like making a video. And I said, well, what I meant to say is, I wasn't planning on making a video, but I just, maybe it's because I had a coffee <laughs> in the evening. Uh, I have not been eating properly. I have not. So I went for all that money I was saving. I saved like about two grand and I think I spent all of it, and I spent all of it on computer memory, uh, like this. This is <laughs> this is DDR4. It's a sixteen gigabyte kit of four thousand five hundred megahertz. Uh, memory apparently this is samsung v die and samsung v die is like um where you can overclock it so the reason i bought all of this memory is because i, I heard news that samsung was uh, going to stop producing this this very highly sought after uh, memory die the, the, the memory chip that they make it's called samsung b die it's a revision of a ddr4 and apparently they were going to stop making the memory chips which turned out to be false because the they were going to stop making the memory module see this thing is called a memory module because it's got like memory chips on it samsung used to make their own memory module uh, but they're gonna stop making that. But they're they're still gonna uh, like it's they're still going to sell the chips. So this is like another company called T Force. They buy Samsung memory chips and they make their own memory. So anyway, so because I was I was I was like, oh my goodness, they're gonna stop making that memory. I better buy and I better get all of this memory. So I bought this and <laughs> I bought this. This is like a, another 16 gig kit. It's 4,400 megahertz. It's very fast. Uh, my computer can't uh, use it, but anyway. So I bought that. I, I, so this is a 32 gig <laughs> kit. It's got shiny lights on it. Uh, so this is a Corsair. Uh, 32 gigs, two sticks. And I got this, <laughs> which is a G scale. This is 32 gigs as well. This I think uh, this is a B die as well. This, these are like uh, four four memory sticks. Uh, these are pretty good. This is a four memory stick version, and I got this one. <laughs> this one's like basically the same. This has got the same as that, except this has got two. Uh, the two, this is like 16 gigabytes times two. This is eight gigabytes two. So this is basically the same type of memory like but they're in four and this is in two so I don't know why I bought a lot of that and I also like got some uh, SSDs like this is a NVMe uh, you know like a solid state uh, drive like I also got another one of that and I also bought a, 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 a I also bought a, a computer CPU so um Basically, I, I, I spent all the same money I had on, yep, I, I spent it on <laughs> all of this computer stuff. I probably don't need it, uh, but like once I started, like I initially wanted to get a graphics card, so I ordered this uh, 3070 NVIDIA graphics card, but then I decided, no, we actually want a better one. So. Once I started buying one product, it was sort of like the f 
the door was opened and I, and I kept on buying more and more and more and uh, I spent all my money. I spent it all. I, was I, I saved like almost three grand and I spent it all on computers. Yeah, these are the experience. I mean, some of them were cheap, but some of them were like, you know, hundreds of bucks. So, so that's what I've been doing. I've been, uh, oh yeah, this is stuff I've ordered before. I was seeing this show on um, Amazon, but uh, it was it went off. So I, I kind of I liked. I saw the first few series, and I was like, yeah, this is very this is interesting, this is nice. and. Um, this is the Kozlowski Three Colors Trilogy. Apparently this is a very, um, it's a good kind of, um, cause I think I have the DVDs, the DVDs are in, uh, in good quality or something. Anyway, <laughs> I also got this, Porto Rosso. I like this, I like this anime, it's, it's nice to me. So basically I spent all my money on, computer stuff and um, yeah that's what I did <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I bought all of this mainly memory and I was and I, I was I was gonna hoard it uh, because I thought the I, I'm still good oh yeah I actually got another memory kit it was like a I ordered it from this company and I think it's in the States and yeah, it arrived, but it's, um, anyway, uh, I, had to pay, I had to pay for shipping for UPS, and then I was worried, like, do I have to pay GST, and I was, like, asking the company, do I have to pay GST, and they're like, no, if it's less than one thousand dollars, they said, which is funny, because they have this low value good import, import tax or something, but, you know, it was by UPS, so, um, I asked them and then they said, no, I, I don't have to pay the GST. They should know, right? Yeah, they should. <laughs> because I was, I was telling them about the... Because I showed them the reference number and everything. Okay, anyway. <sighs> so, uh... Yeah, anyway, so, uh... This is what happens when I kind of just start thinking about something and then go into a... Uh, yeah, so I've been watching a lot of videos on overclocking and I was thinking like maybe I should get an oscilloscope because uh, you know oscill oscilloscope is like this thing, this device which, which measures voltage over time and you can use an oscilloscope to check whether uh, the voltage is of a given electronic component, whether the voltage is, uh, you know, it's being a clean signal or whether there are ripples and you can use that to diagnose various issues and stuff so that's what i've been doing there <laughs> yeah yeah i i i i spent my money on computer ram all right that, that, that's the thing i wanted to i bought all this because i wanted to like uh do do like uh memory overclocking and and uh, uh yeah memory overclocking it's, it's like a hobby uh for fun i didn't do it for anything else i just uh, oh yeah 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 that's right another thing is like i think uh yeah i think we recently like my bro my brother recently bought a house so i mean you know remember we, 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 the one before we, 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 he didn't want it because of the, 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 the recently I think they I think uh, yeah I think we recently bought a house so we might be moving in a couple of months so uh, hopefully I can have more space because there's there isn't any space in my room because it's so crowded and and maybe with more space I can maybe because I can't do anything in here so maybe with more space I can uh, you know do some of my computing hobbies these are my toys this is what I under these are my toys you see the computer the, all of this is these are toys uh, <laughs> uh, I 
feel like these are like toys, you know. It's like I was just thinking, like uh, someone uh, you, you describe what they do as yes, these are my toys. Uh, I feel like even like people who are like you know, imagine like if you're like a, a I don't know, a very you're a professional in some field, and I think even even people who are like you know qualified professionals, even what they are essentially doing is they are these whatever like industry they're working in uh, like you know technical industry it's like what they're actually doing is these these are their toys and they're playing with their toys i think if you're like an inventor or something maybe it's like you know you're playing with toys when you're inventing things i guess if you're working as a you know electrician or something maybe that's not maybe it might not be a toy then but <laughs> you know what the way I see it, you know how in, in the past people used to invent things? Uh, you didn't have to have a qualification to invent things. You know, most of the people invented stuff. They did it because they were, they were, they were curious and they, they, it's like a passion or a hobby. So I feel like, I feel like you don't need to have a qualification to, to be an inventor. Uh, you know? Uh, why am I talking about that? Uh, but maybe you should have qualifications to to be uh, like if you're gonna be an electrician, maybe it would be good to have qualifications then because you can work on people's houses and you know you might for safety reasons you might want someone who's gonna got a paper saying yes, uh, this person can do this job because they have they have training and all that but if you if you're like someone who's like a, like an inventor and i'm not going to even use the word not like a professional scientist but if you're just someone who's like curious about the world and uh, you know you're trying to invent things you know you don't need any qualification to, to be an inventor uh, yeah so uh so these are like my toys <laughs> Uh, the reason I was saying these are like my toys is because imagine like if you're like a, in, in the caveman days or whatever and I feel like uh, I feel like what I'm doing with the, these uh, things you know like whatever like playing with these toys whether they're Lego blocks or like more complicated things like this computer or whatever or you, you can even think about even like if you go to like scientists or working on uh, quantum mechanics or whatever even though those things are like you need to have a lot of knowledge and all that what's happening is people <laughs> the way i see it these are human beings just uh, looking at the world and just being creative and inventive so if you're like a caveman let's say you were arranging rocks or something and you got three rocks here you got two rocks here and you know you're playing around with the different rocks it's like it's like what i'm trying to say is what we're doing here with all these gadgets it's nothing the underlying process is, is the same it's like it's like you're you're curious uh, uh you know yeah, you're just curious to, uh, and you just uh, you're trying to figure something out and then you're trying to maybe solve a problem or something like that. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, and in order to engage in that process of uh, the in that process of coming to understand certain things and, uh, you know, in order to do that thing, you don't need a qualification. Anyone can do it. Now, what does what does that have to do with memory uh, and me buying all of this? Um, yeah, because I was thinking like, oh, you know, I, I really enjoy all of this electronic stuff, and it's, it seems like fun and stuff. So, do I need to get qualifications to do this? And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't need any qualifications to do something like something that's fun. I guess what I'm trying to say is <sighs> what I'm trying to say is I can do something that's like a hobby or that's like a 
uh, something that's like playing with my toys. You see, I don't want to, you know how like when I was uh, talking about the car, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I want to be a mechanic and I want to do all this. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. See, you can even consider the car as a toy. And the reason I like the idea of a toy is because it's sort of like, I think it, make, it sort of um, makes it very clear what, what's actually going on. Because toy is like something, it's not serious. It's something that you have fun doing. And so, you know, I like the idea of a toy. Uh, and I think that the toy is more honest about what's going on. You know, sometimes, you know, you want to say, oh, I'm inventing, I'm being a serious inventor. I'm, no, no, no. Maybe playing with your toys, like, uh, and this idea, this concept of a toy, like, I, I saw in a YouTube video and this person was referring to what they're doing as, anyway, the, the, so that, uh, that concept of a toy. They really, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's right. That they, 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 they are toys. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the reason, like, so, so, so when you, when I was just watching these videos on the oscilloscope, and they're really interesting because the oscilloscope allows you to see, go really deep into the, like, you can see how the current like there are all these little fluctuations and you can learn so much from that data it's like you're going into it's like this this is you know how like when you think of uh, electricity it's, it's you don't you don't really you don't get to visualize what goes on right into the depths of thing and the oscilloscope allows you to just see oh what's happening what's happening to the current at this very very magnified level well it depends on how good the oscilloscope is some of these oscilloscopes are like hundreds of thousands of dollars and some of them are like five hundred dollars uh you know so it's not like a, it's there are all these ranges of oscilloscopes um but anyway so uh yeah I, I was, oh, was, so like the the, the re so you can learn so much about like I was thinking, man, that would be so much fun. Like it would be if, if you had a job where what you were doing was just analyzing all of these things and then like, and you had a job for that. Like, you know, the reason I say a job because you know, you know, you have to separate the fun stuff, the passion from the idea of what you need is you need money to live in the society, right? You need. Uh, a way to support yourself so uh, that's what when the idea of work or a job comes in but imagine if you could do something that was so fun like you're just playing with your toys and you got paid to do it and that would be like so um so fun right look at this look at this look at this what am i doing here look at that so Anyway, this is like one terabyte. I got another one, which is one terabyte as well, but that's like not the pro version. So, anyway, I don't know what I'm rambling on about in this video, but um, hmm. yeah, I'm trying to clean my room. Really big challenge. <laughs> but I'm making progress. I actually cleaned some stuff here. So. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if I have anything to say. Anything to say.